Good morning, you're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. This morning, my guest is Jeff West, who is Vice President of Marketing and Product Development with PackCraft. Jeff, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm well. Good, good to be with you. wanted to talk to you since Neocon is right around the corner, less than two weeks away. You've got several news items that I think deserve mention so that people, as they come to Neocon, can be ready to go. For one thing, don't look for you on the 11th floor. That's the first big news. Talk a little bit about that, if you would. Yeah, we're very excited, uh, Kemp. We're going to be moving into a new space on the 10th floor. Actually, it's 10160 is the space. It's a larger space than our old space. It's also a lot wider. It uh, gives us a little bit more uh, area in the front, uh, door frontage. It also has windows, which is uh, certainly a nice thing there at Neocon. And it, it all together is just a really nice space, and we're very much looking forward to it. I believe this is the old Blue Ridge space, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. It's the old, it was a Blue Ridge space last year, correct? Yeah. And so people who go to Neocon every year now can, can picture it and see that if you want to see a product from your corporation, you can either go to Shaw Contract on one end or you can go to Pat Craft on the other end, on the same floor. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, and, and I think your cell phone will probably work since you have windows in that suite. Well, that's what we're hoping, so maybe that'll draw a few extra people since uh, cell phone uh, is a premium there at the mark. That's right. That's one piece of news, and another piece of news is PatCraft, which has been known for a long time for you know the performance brand at Shaw with both Broadloom and Modular Carpet. You absorbed the design weave several years ago, so you've got looks that work in a lot of different environments. But this year, you're going to have another type of flooring. You're going to have LVT, right? Yeah, uh, that's, that's correct, Kemp. And, you know, we've been excited over the last few years as we've really built uh, our performance brand, and we've added a lot of performance products, including a lot of EcoWorks tile. But this year, we're very pleased that we're going to be rolling out four new resilient products. And uh, we will have two of those will be LVT plank. We'll have a six-inch wide, a four-inch wide, and then additionally, we'll have some sheet goods as well, both a homogeneous plus and heterogeneous sheet goods that uh, something we're most of them are in the wood looks but something we're very proud of we're also going to be adding to that collection later in the year we've got a couple other products that we're going to be supplementing that with but you you can come to our space there at 10160 and we'll talk maybe in just a minute about our carpet uh, collection but we're going to have about 50 percent of our space is going to be with resilient products we'll be featuring actually three products on the floor we'll be uh, featuring the high Island Forest, which will be in the front area of our showroom. It's a 20 mil wear layer, and it's a 4-inch by 36-inch plank. It'll be in a, a wood look, and then we'll have the Homogeneous Plus product cut into a design in the kind of the back right area of our showroom. And then as a border in the conference room, we'll actually have the Woodland View product. So we'll be able to show three products, and Something we're very excited about. I mean, obviously, as you look at the performance markets, health care, education, there is a sizable amount of hard flooring, and we want to make sure that we provide the material that our customers are looking for. So like you say, um, Pat Craft, since it's the, the Shaw performance brand, you do focus mostly in, in health care and education, and that's an area where they use both soft and hard. So now, with this introduction, you have, I guess, the two fastest-growing categories because you were already in modular, and now you're in the LVT business. Yeah, that's correct. And as, and as a matter of fact, we'll be also focusing on the modular tile products, too. We'll introduce a product called Cultural Layers, mm -hmm. uh, which will be illustrating our uh, creative leadership as well. as It's going to kind of talk about how, the, if you look at patterns through the culture, through the years, really they just build upon one another. I mean, you start with... You might take from one generation a, a particular element, and then you'll take from another generation another element, and those kind of are all blended together, and eventually you end up with the patterns that we have today, and, and we'll illustrate that in talking about cultural layers, and that, that will be our featured modular product. And one of the cool things we're excited about is it's a cut and loop product as desired in, in sometimes corporate settings, but also in uh, healthcare settings. But with that, we still have a, a heavy rating in terms of uh, its performance. So it's kind of illustrating the beautifully durable, which is what we strive for there at PatCraft. Is that a square format or a rectangular format? It is in square, okay. 24 by 24. It's on EcoWorks? It's on EcoWorks, correct. Yeah. Okay. And on the LVT Resilient, you said the sheet goods now, is that a fiberglass back product? 
Yes, it is. Okay. And then the LVP or the plank products, the wood look, is that a direct glue? It's not a clicker overlap system, is it? Yeah, all these are direct glue, correct. Right. We'll be supplementing the, the line probably about the end of the year with a glueless system, but today those those products that we'll be featuring this year are the, the glued products. Mm -hmm. well, I think that's the, probably the most popular in the commercial, especially the contract commercial sector anyway. Yeah, right? correct. Yeah. And, and I guess I should might have should have started this way, but we went right into Neocon. How are you seeing business conditions? Well, you know, business has, has been pretty good, actually. I mean, we, we certainly, from a retail standpoint, seems very strong. Mm -hmm. Corporate is coming back some. Education is still... You know, it's, education is not growing. There's still, from state budgets, still some constraints there. But certainly, there is a significant amount of pent-up demand that we're well positioned for. And healthcare is doing fairly well as well. So in general, I would think from where we started the year, things are better than where we thought they might be. So, so overall, I think business is pretty good. All right, so you're seeing some growth year over year. Yes. Yeah. And on education, I mean, even though it's not as robust as, as we might like it to be, this is kind of the season, isn't it? This, this is when it kicks off because they usually make the, the changes in the business in the summertime, right? Yeah, that's correct. I mean, most of the specs uh, are happen in the fall, September, October, but but right now is when the the best part when we start seeing the purchase orders, and we certainly have had a an uptick in in that volume in the last six weeks. Even though overall the education market is expected to be down, we have really aggressively pursued that market. We still feel pretty good about where that market is going for the remainder of the year. Well, it's good to talk to you. I look forward to seeing you in less than two weeks on the 10th floor in Chicago. Again, we've been talking to Jeff West, who's VP of Marketing and Product Development at Packcraft, and you've been listening to Kempar and FloorDaily.net.